okay, the man who has not stopped throughout quarantine, throughout the lockdown, has managed to pull off the most mega shoots I have seen in forever. How are you doing? What is going on? Hi, well, thank you for that, for that warm introduction. <laughs> um, you know, every, all, is, all is well. In, in LA, I've made it through the heat wave and, you know, so all is well. The last time I think we spoke, you were on your way to do that magnificent shoot, which I saw in InStyle, which everyone will have seen in InStyle, with Zendaya on the cover, the magnificent September cover, which was the epitome of an epic read. Can you tell me a little bit about that and where that whole idea came from? Yeah, um, well, I just, I have to give a lot of credit to Laura Brown and the InStyle staff. They kind of just let me have a run with it, with she's yeah. like, take my September issue and just do what you want. Um, but yeah, I, I just think it was, it was in Zendaya and I, it was just on our spirit and just the opportunity to show what, what we can do um, as, as black creatives and work with black, all black designers, shoes, jewelry, clothes, and a lot of virgin and, and some undiscovered people. And, mm -hmm. and our, we based our whole career on, on doing that, working with brands and designers that are lesser known and mm -hmm. you know using our platforms to kind of usher them into the mainstream and we got to do that with the photographers and i'm so grateful to again to laura brown and, and that entire team at in style for well, trusting me you know but, uh, yeah, why wouldn't we trust you i mean you are a legend in the industry you're responsible for some of the most mega looks that we all see on the carpet and otherwise be it kerry washington be it zendaya be it celine Dion's transformation i mean you are a legend and you're also in the show, Legendary, <laughs> which is, brings me on to the reason why we're actually chatting today, yes. because you are a judge of yes. a fantastic Suprema competition. Yes. Tell me about the competition and tell me a little bit about your role. My entire career, I've um, figured out that I wanted to champion new talent. And, and you know, I think the next Mark Jacobs and the next Michael Kors is just somewhere in you know, hiding, just waiting, just waiting for the opportunity. And what the Supima competition is, literally helping discover the next great American fashion designer. So when I got the call to host it, I was just, first of all, super flattered. Nobody ever believes that I'm so a little bit still shy. So when people call me to do things that's outside of style, I'm always really, really humbled and flattered. But I, I, you know, I was like, yes, 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 yes. I, I would love to, to be a part of that. And even for selfish reasons, I want to see the designers before anybody else. I want to get the clothes on my girls <laughs> before any other stylist gets to do it. So, you know, it's far, it's far really, you know, me being for selfish, honestly. Okay, so not only is the winner, it's all emerging talent, all from um, universities and amazing fashion schools around the country, but not only did they win $10,000 today, but yes. they also now have a chance to have you put one of your fabulous girls, you can dare carry in one of their looks, which... You know, that's the real prize, there. Nobody cares about I the money. <laughs> <laughs> I just think what Supreme has done for the last 13 years is give this platform to new designers and they support 500 American cotton farmers. It's just, it's, it's, it's just, I'm a, a part of this amazing legacy of, you know, this American staple, you know? And so I'm super excited. And, and we have this from, you know, FIT and FITM, but then we also have the Rhode Island um, School of Design and Kent State. It's like these, these really big fashion programs that mm -hmm. aren't as familiar as, you know, we are in the industry, we know FIT, we know FITM, Parsons, but I got to learn about some other schools that were really, really interested and that's pumping out some really good talent. Do we see a professor law in our future? I could totally imagine you in front of a whole school just doing amazing talks and inspiring so many kids. What would be your bit of advice now, maybe to anyone coming um, up in the industry right now? I think- a Different time. I think what, what, is, what is really important is authenticity. I, I feel like be you, be your whole self, be your true self and the clients will come, the girls will come, you know? Um, I think it's really just important in this day and age to remain authentic. That you've definitely done. What does an image architect, Lil Roach, wear when he's in quarantine? Because I know myself has been living in literally biker shorts and oversized sweatshirts for the last 
four months. Mm, I have been in robes and and pajamas and sweatpants and um, I tried to do that whole I get up and get dressed up and it didn't happen not once <laughs> in <a> time. <laughs> It's tough, no. I tried. I tried. I could. I just couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Okay. I couldn't well, take the <laughs> Will it be? I know it's such a strange time to even talk, um, you know, about trends and what's going to be coming up because we're into a new season. So, is there anything that's more like for people at home who are having these kind of waist up meetings from now? And this is the normal, right? We're all like just seeing each other through screens. Yeah. What would be a fun like style tip that you would recommend? Let's all just go topless. Forget about it. <laughs> let's just let, yeah, let's just let's just zoom in the new. What you know, what do we have to lose at this point? Oh my you know, god. No I, I probably have to lose an awful lot. <laughs> my recommend my style recommendation uh, recommendation is no style at all. Just let's just do skin. Skin is in. Skin is in. I love it. Maybe an earring in the pop of a lip. You have to have an earring. You're not dressed without an earring. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so what else can we expect this afternoon from this amazing reveal of the of the winner? Why where well, should we I just all be hope tuning in? Who tunes in to Supima Live or my live at Luxury Law and really just look at this new talent. They are incredible mm -hmm. and they were all given the same materials. Yeah. Um and the way that they all manipulated Supima cotton into evening wear and ridiculous like you guys are going to be so blown away i'm so excited for the world to see it how did 2020 change your style it took my style away <laughs> <laughs> what does fashion mean to you fashion means opportunity fashion means fantasy fashion means escape you know fashion means reality fashion is my world what inspires you women i am inspired by women from all walks of life every size, every sexuality, every, everything. It's just, I am, I have always been inspired by women since I was a little boy. Amen to that. Um, favorite mask to wear at the moment? The disposable ones. Mm -hmm. uh, which fall must have does everyone probably want to get in their closet now? A beautiful, beautiful coat, mm -hmm. a beautiful black, Coat. I'm in. What's been your greatest discovery during quarantine? It could be a read, could be something you've uh, learned to cook, could be something you've watched. Um, my biggest discovery has actually been myself. I don't think I really knew who I was before quarantine. And I've met myself and I've figured out how to fall in love with myself. Every cloud has a silver lining, right? Mm -hmm.